Hi everybody, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. It's time to take a look at the CX-90 and what they might not be telling you. Now this is for entertainment purposes only so you can get your own opinion when you go test drive a CX-90 at your local Mazda dealer. One thing, when you get inside of the CX-90, you'll notice that the shifter has changed and it is something to get used to because when you put it into reverse from drive, you'll think that's park and you might step off the brake and you'll still be rolling so be careful <laughs> now if you do put it in reverse you'll get a special sound on the outside to let exterior persons know that you might be backing up other information regarding the transmission there is MI drive which you can opt into a sport mode and what that does is allow increased RPMs for acceleration but you'll notice that it does delay before it goes into actual sport mode so Whereas before it was more instant, it takes a little bit to put itself into the sport mode and you'll get an indicator on the dash. So last thing with the transmission, you want to know that you do have paddle shifters and an 8-speed automatic. However, there is an auto upshift that's pretty aggressive. And that meaning it doesn't hold gears unless you go into the Mazda Connect system and select permanent shift control in the paddle shift logic. The vehicle does have active grille shutters, but it's not listed on the MSRP anywhere, but that would help with efficiency and, and cooling the vehicle. If you're considering a competitor vehicle like the Telluride, the CX-90 is going to offer less space in the second and third rows. However, as far as performance, you have better efficiency in the CX-90 and a quicker 0-60 to 60 time. So 0 to 60 in 6.5 seconds for the fifth third row vehicle and 5 miles per gallon better on the highway. Now Mazda is always about performance as far as driving dynamics. However, you do have 21 inch wheels here and it may be considered sometimes for it to feel maybe bumpy. But however, in invasive maneuver, that would be a good thing to be more stable. The CX-90 does offer 5,000 pound towing capacity, however that's only available when you get to the Turbo Preferred Plus and above. Now if you're not used to having a six cylinder, you might find that the engine's torque and delivery of power is somewhat maybe spongy. If you haven't experienced a six cylinder, you can try it and maybe become familiar with what I'm talking about. If you're going to look under the hood, you'll find the six-cylinder shielded by a bunch of plastic. And so it made me think, how am I going to help jump my neighbor in case he needs a jump start? And what I found was not the easiest application to do so. There's even a wire in the way where I would put the positive connection. So maybe not the greatest design, but there it is. If you're going to consider the select or the base model for the CX-90 there's only two color choices white or black you'll have to go to the preferred for more color choices a total of six and for the turbo premium you have an option of eight different color choices you can option out your CX-90 in the select preferred and preferred plus trims to have seven or eight passenger seating seven passengers is automatically included in the premium and premium plus and an option on Turbo S. On Turbo S Premium Plus only seats six. Whether you get six, seven, or eight passenger seating in the CX-90, you'll enjoy the comfort of knowing you have a 90 degree angle rear door opening to help loading on top or exiting the vehicle. Rear cargo space, 14.9 cubic feet of space. We only used to have 14 in the CX-9, so the CX-90 offering more space in the rear and a taller amount of space. See, the CX-9 had a more steeply raked rear design, which didn't offer storage for tall boxes or suitcases. When you have the two passengers in back on Turbo S Premium Plus, this is going to offer you the most rear cargo space at 15.9 cubic feet. In the CX-90, you no longer have a regular thumb drive style USB port in the console. It's just the USB-C, I believe that's called. 
But in the previous Mazda Connect systems, like CX-30, Mazda 3, you were able to play video through a thumb drive, and that's no longer available, or I haven't found the connection to do so. There's a feature within the key fob for rolling the windows down. Just press the unlock button four times, and on the fourth time, press and hold it, it will roll all the windows down for you to let the air waft out before you get in. Hope you have a great day and get a chance to form your own opinion after a test drive in the CX-90. Have a great day. Safe travels.